Looking to add both more storage and ports to your laptop or desktop setup? Check out the new Thunderbolt NVMe drive enclosure and hub from Akasis. It even has two bays for a RAID setup. Hi, this is David at Tech for Baba. Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing if you like useful tech for the family like me. In today's video, let's unbox and check out how well this unique little Thunderbolt USB 4 enclosure hub from Akasis can add both storage to NVMe drives capable of RAID and ports to a laptop or desktop setup. It comes in a typical Akasis package. Inside the box, there is the enclosure docking station. Under the cover, a power supply. There is an USB-C to USB-C cable for power. A Thunderbolt 4 cable. Four thermal pads. Four silicone stoppers to hold the drives down. Two NVMe size adapter plates. And lastly, a manual. Everything you need except for the NVMe drives. The enclosure hub is small. Only about four and a quarter inches long two and a half inches wide and one inch thick. It has a solid dark gray aluminum body with ridges on the top and vents on the sides. To further help with heat dissipation, there's a built-in fan on the top as well. On the bottom, there are two long strips of rubber feet to keep the enclosure stable on a desk. On one side, there is a button to turn the fan on and off and a USB-C port for 100 watts of power input. There are two 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt USB 4 ports, one upstream for the laptop or desktop connection, one downstream. There are three little indicator lights above them, one for the host computer, the other two for each of the two SSD slots inside. Yep, there are two. More on that later. There is a 10 gigabit per second USB-A port on this side. And lastly, an HDMI 2.0 port that can support a 4K 60Hz monitor. In addition to adding these ports, another special feature of this little enclosure is it has two bays inside for two NVMe drives that can be put in a RAID configuration. Let's install these two 2 terabyte Samsung 990 Pro SSDs and see how the enclosure works. Just lift the cover off from this indented vent to open up the enclosure. Once opened, you can see the two empty slots for the SSDs. The enclosure supports various 2230, 2242, 2260, and 2280 sizes NVMe drives up to eight terabytes each. Insert each drive at an angle Push it down and secure it with the supply silicone stopper. Do the same on the other drive. Next, attach the thermal pads on top of the SSDs. Akasis supplies a thin and a thick one for each drive. I'm using the thick ones here. Another option is to attach these thermal pads on the bottom of the cover. This way, I can change out the NVMe drives without having to reattach the thermal pads. Either way works. Finally, snap the cover back on. And that's it. One special feature of this enclosure is the two SSDs inside can be configured in various modes. They can be used as two individual independent SSDs or combined as one large storage drive. They can also be set up in a RAID 0 mode with data distributed across two drives for faster transfer speed. Or in a RAID 1 mode where two drives mirror each other for data safety and redundancy. Akis's website has a good table on the pros and cons of each configuration. I'll put that link in the description below for your reference. You can also leave me a comment below if more clarification is needed. The website and the manual also have instructions on how to set up each configuration. Here I have the enclosure connected to my M3 MacBook Pro. Let's start with the independent drive mode. 
you can see in Finder that they show up as two separate drives. With Blackmagic Speed Test, I get about 1400 megabytes per second write and 1560 megabytes per second read with either drive. Each drive only gets about half of the bandwidth in this case. To put the drives in different rate modes on the Mac, use Disk Utility, under File, Rate Assistant. Here you can see there are three modes, the Strip RAID 0 mode, Mirrored RAID 1 mode, and Concatenated JBOD mode. Let's try RAID 0 first. This mode should give us the fastest transfer speed at the expense of more risk for data loss. As expected, I get about 2360 megabytes per second write and over 2700 megabytes per second read. Next, let's try RAID 1, mirroring the drive as backups of each other. Good for data safety and redundancy, but slower write speed and half of the total storage capacity. In RAID 1, I get about 1280 megabytes per second write and around 2600 megabytes per second read. Write speed is slower as expected. Read speed is almost as fast as RAID 0. Lastly, let's combine the two drives as one large 4TB drive. In this concatenated mode, I get about 1280 megabytes per second write and 1550 megabytes per second read. That's about the same transfer speed as the independent drive mode. Good thing is, the transfer speed in any one of these modes are fast enough for me to edit photos and videos directly on this drive. Acus's TBU405 Pro Max retails for $189. US there are good discounts from time to time in the link I'll put in the description below. If you're looking for data redundancy and safety with the RAID 0 configuration, or need a huge combined up to 16 terabyte drive while adding a couple more ports at the same time, this TBU405 Pro Max is the unique Thunderbolt enclosure and hub to check out. Now, if a fast Thunderbolt SSD enclosure is all you need, try this simpler and more affordable TBU405 Pro. It's just for one NVMe SSD drive, no additional ports, does have a similar built-in fan to keep things cool, and can be powered by just the Thunderbolt cable connected to the laptop. I'll put a link to this enclosure and the video I did on it in the description below as well. What do you do when you run out of internal storage on your devices like I do all the time? What's your favorite external storage solution? I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. It helped me out a lot. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, please subscribe and check out this video next. I'll see you in that next one. Until then, God bless and remember to cherish each moment. Big thanks to Akasis for sending this out for me to try and share with you.